Okay guys, good morning. We're just walking along the beach here looking for some information to fish for a cob. And uh, most probably if we don't find a cob or a good formation for a cob, we'll just probably spend our time fishing for a shark or a duck or anything for that matter. Yeah, I just want to get a couple of bites. First prize would be a big cob. We've had great conditions over the past two weeks and the fish just didn't play a lot. Um, yeah, I got really despondent at one stage. I'm actually yeah, still feeling a little bit down with the fish being so disappointed. And yeah, I uh, thought I was going to give it a little break for a change. But here I am again on the beach looking for a fish, walking kilometers and kilometers along the beach to find the fish. And uh, yeah, let's just hope today pays off. There's some lack of formation, saw some good water, and uh, I'm gonna fish a spot higher up, and then maybe work our way down. So, yeah, if this footage is a little bit shaky, please pardon because uh, my GoPro is strapped onto my fishing trolley and um, yeah, just filming while I am walking and I think I found our spot this doesn't look bad at all it's a nice isolated working bank here a little bit of foam on the bank a little bit of sand puffing and uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad I think I'm going to stop here, put a bait on and try. And hopefully we go tight, like a boys. Well, I was busy preparing another rod there and um, Zandra is on, I don't know what it is, I think it's just a lesser or something. It doesn't look like it's a cob, it doesn't shake at all. Okay, we're going to haul and then haul you the door out. Let's open it a bit. Okay, let's open it a bit. It's nice to have it. Beautifully done. Oi. Well, there's Zandra on with another lesser. Seems like the lessers are entertaining him today. But I'm not going to film another lesser. We're looking for something decent. Especially a cob. Water looks really nice. It might be a big cob today. But the way that my luck has been going the past month or so, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give it our best shot, guys. 
<laughs> the man just pulled out a monster laser sand shark. Grijp hem in die lijn. Grijp hem in die lijn. Hart op voorhand, grijp hem in die sovel. Nee, nee, achter de... <laughs> man is holding on there. Okay, track him hard. Yeah, yeah. Look. Go first after the. Oh, netjo, oh, netjo. Okay, now hard to follow and you grab the strap. I said I wasn't going to film it, but it was a massive laser. And um, yeah, he was pulling his ass off here in the shallow. But yeah, it's big. Over a five kilo laser that, which is quite big for a laser thing. Oh. Uh, Cop! Yeah. On. What kind is this? Is this a cobra or is this a dark one? There were some funny shakes there. Ooh. Wait, this might be a cop. This might be a cop. Please let this be it. Ooh, Ooh this might be a big cop. Ooh, guys. Please let it be it. And ease up on the drag. Ooh, this might be. <laughs> my heart is pounding in my chest. Woo! Come on. Guys, my heart is pounding. It doesn't feel like a duck ball at all. It might be the wings that I'm feeling. But it's just too much shaking like a cob. And, um, ooh, ooh, damn it. Oh, please. Oh, it's hooked in the wing, and it's a flap that I'm feeling, but, ooh, I think this is a big cob. My honest opinion. Combinator, combinator. Just have Zandre to reel out my other line. Roll vanaf with the. I think I'm going to go with the other one. Yeah, roll vanaf. The rod that Zandre is reeling out. I had in for specifically a big cob and this rod I had in for a cob slash duck ball. I took and I had a big octopus head and um, I threw only a half of it. But in a spot where there can be a big cob but also looks really well or looks really good for a, a duck ball but um, yeah 
I'm just gonna play this fish with a soft drag because that feels like cob shakes guys it really does feel like cob shakes um, took too much line for for a, a hound shark but you never know fishing Oof. it's just hanging there now shaking shaking and shaking <laughs> oh, it doesn't want to come, eh? Oof. Just hanging there, shaking. Oh, come on. Ooh, he wants to go again. He wants to go, you need to let it go. It's so, you need to be patient with these fish, guys. That's to say, if it's a cob, but, um, ooh. if it's a cob, eh, there's a big fish. I can promise you guys. Oh, please let it be, let it be. I've been fishing so hard for a big cob recently. It has been interrupting my my normal fishing because uh, I've been I spent many many hours fishing for a big cob. It has been really tough and it's been yeah you know, been hard work, long hours. Yeah. Come on man, I haven't gained a single centimeter on this fish. You guys, as you can see, there's Andre behind the camera. He's helping me out playing cameraman today. And this has been now the first line that I've actually gained on this fish. Slowly winning some line back. And the key is to be patient with the fish and not force it at all. And a soft drag, soft hands. And a pounding heart. Woo! Doo -doo. to go too much to the right because there's a little bit of rocks in the water but um, I'm still safe from them and I just want to get some line in and get him closer he's most probably going to turn turn left again On that bank now. Come on, some over. It's just over that back bank. It's in the trot now. Now it's just a game of patience and to see what that fish more, what that fish does. It does not want to turn to the left. I want it to turn to the left because it will be a bit easier to land it on the left because on the right hand side there's quite a deep, a steep drop off there. But um. It seems like I'm not going to have a choice. It's going there. That fish is really close now. It's just behind the first lip, the first drop off. So it's really close. And um, whoo, panicking. Just want to get in line with it. Come on. Is it a cob? What's going on? Small duck ball. Ah, no man, it's a duck ball. I think it might be foul looked. Oh, 
So I can apply a little bit more pressure. If I lose it, it's okay. Um, but I think it is felded. Not even a big duck ball, tiny thing. So disappointed. That's why. Not gonna order today. guys what a disappointment you can see there foul looked in the right wing that why that's why it was arcing to the right all the time and um, I had a suspicion it might be a duck ball that was foul looked and um, unfortunately my suspicion was right um, so obviously as he flaps his wings like that that shakes on my rod and um, it feels like a cob shaking his head but unfortunately it is bad luck and it's a duck ball even though I love catching these fish I love catching them when I'm targeting them not as a bycatch when I'm fishing for cob but um, like I said this rod was off half meant for a cob half meant for a duck ball and um, yeah Unfortunately, it turned out to be a duck ball. I reckon about 5 to 30 kilos. But yeah. Yeah. No man. Anyway, let's get another bait out. And hopefully, we'll, we'll get a cop this time. Go. Damn it, man. I was so sure it was a cod. I'd always had that doubt in my mind that it might be a, a duck ball that's hooked in the wing. Still fun, but um, not the species that we're after. Um, oh. uh, Joe, let's get another bite in and see what's happening. when we walked back after I landed at that ball and uh, I told Zandre we need to come and throw here it looks really good for a cock and then um, I had some pickers took my bait out and um, I didn't want to turn the camera off it's under in the background and uh, took my bait out and Zandre wanted to out as well and said no wait a little, little while longer and as I got the bait down walking back he went fun but um, it's a good fish I don't know if it's a good pop or how uh, oh, but it's a good fish oh, you 
Look at us there. Net zoals recht. Well guys, you'll see there is a little sandbank breaking there. Right there. So I threw my bait right on the bank. And for Zandra, I threw just on the inside of the bank. You guys remember that little strip bait that I showed a, a while back? Just one strip, or two strips of chocker hooked through. If you haven't seen it, it is on my channel. Go and check it out. That is the exact same bait that he had on now when he hooked this fish on that. Really underrated little bait that. Poor guy just lost the fish. I'm sure he's not really happy now. I'm not sure what it was, but um, I think he was cut off on some reef in the back. But it was a really good fish, really solid, and uh, really good fish. It's such a pity, man. You know, I know him, he's gonna be sad now, really sad. Shame, man, the poor lighty. Look at him. He's <laughs> Shame, man, he's really sad now. Come to think of it, um, that might be, it might have been a big white stiemras or a big stiemi um, as well. Because this place is renowned for really big stiemis, like up to 20 kilo fish. Don't say that fish was 20 kilos, but it was at least a 10, 12 kilo fish plus. So, I'm not too sure it was an ounce shark or, or a shark. It looked like an edible, it looked a lot like an edible. Um, so I'm thinking other good size cob or a really big good size steady on this bank looks really good for a big steady as well so such a pity man oh I'm getting a bike there. I'm gonna put this camera back yeah such a pity man it would have been a PB for him no, it doesn't matter what it was if it was a cob steady or a arm shot it would have been a new PB for him but um, I reckon it was a good size cob for a big steady well, where's my fish now? Waited, waited long for this bite and um, finally it's on. So, sure. do a little mackerel head with um, chocker on the sides and finally a pull. Not like extra GoPro batteries. My spinning bag, so we're running out of battery. Right? And I was talking to my other camera, and when I looked at the small screen that's facing me, I could see that it wasn't recording. Mooi. Kom eerst 
Kommt doch dieser. Thought I quickly want to show you guys a, a cob bait that I use a lot. Uh, just get this out of the way. It's a little cob bait on a dingle dangle. That's your dingle dangle. If you guys don't know how to make it, there is a video on my channel on how to make this. I'll put that link in the description, so go and check it out. If you want to see how to make this um, dingle dangle, you can just click on the link and uh, you can see how to make your own dingle dangles. First we're going to start off by cutting two thin strips of, of squid. gonna cut that off so we're gonna measure the length of our dangle to our chocker to our squid That's it. so it's as wide as my dangle is long and we're gonna hit it with our mallet Nice and soft. You can trim these edges if you want to, you don't really need to because it's so soft that you're going to shape it anyway. So remember you're going to clip your dangle once your bait is done into your sinker like that. And once it hits the water it's going to fall off and your hook is free. You float around, you now it's going to travel with your sinker like this. So you need to create, to make it aerodynamic, and so it can travel as a unit. So firstly we're going to put those small strips on. There's one on each side. Just give it a couple of turns. Okay. That's just to give a little bit of movement to the bait. And then we take the piece that we beat with the hammer, just about two thirds down, with the beaten side on the outside. Just hook it in, wrap it around, and once you come around, you just hook it into your hook again. Just make sure that's an inside. Okay, there we go. Then you just go with your latex cotton. Hey guys, really important what I did or what I do. I don't go really tight with my cotton. I pull it tight but not, I don't wind it close to each other. So I'll go really wide on my cotton. You'll see I'm just closing up the bottom section. Close it up, close it up. Make sure it's closed everywhere. And you see that that loop at the bottom is still open. Now we go up and then we work our way down almost like crisscrossing it. To keep your bait nice and soft. So there's the little bait. Get my sinker ready. Okay. So now you can see when I clip it in like this, it's nice and streamlined, aerodynamic, and that tentacles is not going to make your bait twist in the air. Tangle up your trace, minimum resistance, and um, yeah, a lot of movement, a lot of smell. Let's see if it can't catch a cop. So that's our last try. Let's hope we can get a cop in our last try. Cool. I was busy packing up, just put my rod in the sand spike. 
And uh, what's that bait that I showed you guys? I've got a bite now. shake sideways as I wanted to put it back or as I put it back walked closer to him pick it up and to film a decent release and then shot off with a hell of a speed and then yeah didn't get a proper release video but anyway it's gone subscribe yeah okay guys that's the end of the video um, that's all we have time for if the audio is a bit crap on this GoPro Please, please excuse me uh, if the if the audio is a bit crap please excuse me because uh, yeah I'm using my chest cam and um, all my other GoPros are flat and um, it's time to go and we are out so I'm gonna leave this over to Zandre to tell you guys what to do please like and subscribe yeah, like you said, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Cheers guys, see you next week.